Antigua and Barabuda, a small Caribbean nation is today in the middle of a massive controversy because of economic offender Mehul Choksi. We know the details. He outsmarted agencies before the crackdown in India, bought citizenship there because he knew it will make it easy for him to evade agencies and go around 132 nations. And now Niranjan Narayanaswamy, our editor, brings us exclusive details on the story as he joins us from the newsroom. Over to you, Niranjan. Well, uh, thanks to that, Suesha. In fact, uh, our newsroom, uh, newsroom and the news team has been uh, working closely to try and uh, get to the details of where Mehul Choksi is. We've been trying to find out uh, where he is at the moment because you know for the last couple of months there have been reports that he's in this country, he's in that country, he's a move between uh, the US and there were reports of him uh, being spotted in Hong Kong. Now in the midst of all of these reports we decided to find out and Ankit uh, from our news gathering team has also been in close touch uh, with Antiguan authorities. Now yesterday we managed to speak to the Antiguan Prime Minister. Gaston Brown spoke to Republic TV we have a conversation with Gaston Brown and we'll come back and we'll find out and we will tell you the news points of it. But first up, the news break, here's what Gaston Brown told Republic TV. Hello? Mr. Gaston Brown? Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Gaston Brown. Good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Niranjan and I am the editor at uh, an Indian news sta station called Republic TV. Uh, and uh, I, I'm calling you regarding the story of Mr. Mehul Choksi, sir. I just had one question for you. Uh, because uh, the government in India is uh, pursuing the story of Mehul Choksi. And if Indian agencies uh, pursue the case with Antigua, I wanted uh, your opinion on whether your government would cooperate. Yeah, well, we have an obligation to cooperate, and we will cooperate. I want to make it abundantly clear yeah. that when the gentleman was extended citizenship, yes. there was no interval red notice on him. The yes. government of India did not file any such notice. So yes. he applied, just like any ordinary citizen, yes. satisfied the due diligence requirements and became a citizen of this country. Yes. So, by getting the citizen makes it a little more complicated in that the revocation will take some time. And in addition, we do not have an extradition treaty with India. Yes. But whatever we can do, yes. notwithstanding those challenges, to cooperate with the Indian government, we will certainly do so. Uh, Mr. Mr. Brown, a request for red corner notice is pending, as you just mentioned, with the Interpol and may be granted soon in India's favor. And if uh, it is granted, will your government act? Well, as I said to you, we are committed to acting um, in accordance with our international obligation. Yes. It's really a matter for law enforcement, as you're fully aware. So I don't want to make any specific pronouncements at this point. I believe that um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and certainly the various law enforcement agencies, they do the matter. Yes. And uh, I believe that um, they'll communicate to the government of India in court. Can you confirm whether there's been any sort of an official confirmation from the Indian government with your government, Mr. Brown? Well, I'm aware that the matter was brought to the attention of uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Yes. The Indian government did write to us to find out the whereabouts, or whereabouts of the gentleman. And it was confirmed that he did enter Antigua and Barbuda. Yes. And that he may still be on the island. So... Again, law enforcement is now dealing with the matter. One last question for you, Mr. Brown, because uh, Mehul Choksi is wanted for a $2 billion fraud in India. So, Prima Facie, what is your opinion of this man trying to take citizenship in Antigua to try and, you know, move from one country to another because that's an advantage that he has. He can shift between 132 uh, countries. Uh, I just said to you that um, when the gentleman applied for citizenship, there was no derogatory information on him. Ordinarily, what the government of India should have done was yes. to issue an interpol red notice as yes. an international yes. alert. Yes. The reality is Mr. Chowski was able to leave India and travel to the United States. And I'm quite sure that if the United States had information about um, his alleged um, wrongdoing, yes. that they would have cooperated with the Indian government to send him back to India. So, 
I can see any of your yes. media organizations in India, your government for that matter, trying to hold my government responsible. Absolutely. At the end of the day, we I, have I, a program that, yeah. that, that exists in different countries, and yes. clearly the gentleman known that he was in trouble and decided to apply for citizenship, while the government in the, of India may not have been as nimble as it ought to have been, and did not disseminate the information yes. widely about the gentleman. So on the basis, we have to follow the law. It's a country of laws. Yes, and I really appreciate the kind of stand that you're taking. I think it will also be appreciated by uh, by the Indian government. That, be, that, that, that because we're a small island, mean yes. it's for us, yeah? Yeah. Because you have yeah. all kind of cooks in the United States, the United Kingdom, and other countries. Yes. And you have yes. to go through a legal process. Yes. Do you remember meeting uh, so Behul Choksi? No different way in Antigua and Barbuda. Have you met Mr. Choksi, uh, Mr. Brown, at any point of time during his stay in Antigua? Sir, I don't know the man. Yes. I never had any dealings with him. That was uh, the Antiguan Prime Minister Gaston Brown speaking to Republic TV. Now we spoke to him and uh, as we speak, there is also news coming in that Mehul Choksi has issued a statement. And uh, also joining us on this broadcast are, uh, are uh, Vaibhav Agarwal, he's a political analyst, leans towards the BJP. Sujay Kantawala joining us live from Mumbai, he's an advocate. Swapnil Kotari also an advocate joining us live from Mumbai. But uh, Swapnil, Sujay and Vaibhav, before I come across to you and Kane Nageshwar will also be joining us. I have with me uh, Ankit Paliwal who's been tracking the story very closely. Ankit, tell our viewers about how you've been tracking the story of uh, Mehul Choksi and what this citizenship means because if the Antiguan Prime Minister told India that Mehul Choksi is on the island and those are the words he used when he spoke to Republic TV that Mehul Choksi is on the island and we informed India about it. So, Abhi, what is next, Ankit? Look, the first thing that happened on Republic TV is that Mehul Choksi is on the island of Antigua. सबसे पहला बड़ा खुलासा जो है वो ये हुआ है मैं आपको बताऊं निरंजन कि मेहुल चौकसी ने एंटीगुआ को क्यों चुना एज अ सिटीजनशिप के लिए देखिए सबसे बड़ी बात जो है वो जो देश है एंटीगुआ जब आप वहां की सिटीजनशिप लेते हो आप सिटीजनशिप वहां पर इन्वेस्टमेंट के जरिए ले सकते हैं इन्वेस्टमेंट के जरिए आप वहाँ पर सिटीजनशिप ले सकते हैं एक करोड़ तीस लाख रुपए लगते हैं वहाँ की सिटीजनशिप लेने के लिए सबसे बड़ा फायदा जो है सिटीजनशिप एंटीगुआ की लेने का वो ये 132 देश ऐसे हैं जहाँ पर आप विदाउट वीजा वीजा फ्री कंट्रीज जो है आप वहाँ पर ट्रैवल कर सकते हैं तो मेहुल चौकसी के लिए सबसे अच्छी बात यह है कि जब उसने पासपोर्ट लिया एंटीगुआ का तो वो 132 देश फ्रीली घूम सकता है जहाँ पर उसको वीज़ा की ज़रूरत नहीं पड़ेगी तो ये एक जो है वो रीज़न हो सकता है एंटीगुआ के सिटीजनशिप लेने का well well that's correct and uh, and you know let's uh, go across to vaibhav agarwal vaibhav agarwal you know what it also puts the government in a spot and i'll tell you why and sujay kantawala and uh, and and you know sujay kantawala and uh, you listen to this as well because this is very important at, at the moment given the circumstances under which india is trying to of course try and build pressure on governments including the uk to one bring back malia bring back choksi and god knows where nirav modi is but we are sure that some people in the agencies uh, some agencies may be aware of the whereabouts because the Antiguan Prime Minister has said India placed a request to find out if Mehul Choksi was in Antigua and Antiguan Prime Minister and his government informed India that Mehul Choksi is on the island. He also says India wasn't as nimble as ought to have been. Now this is big because the government will have to face some questions on whether enough steps were taken or whether we went slow. Vaiba Wagarwal, the government is in a spot because he also says when he came here, there was no Interpol alert, there was no international alert, a red corner notice is still pending, you did nothing to stop him. Okay, so, uh, you know, Niranjan, this is an excellent breaking. Now, yes, while we, while we see that uh, there, is, there is probably a little slow on the government side, but that's only for the no, optics, what which are slow? not looking good, I, I agree. But when we look at the investigation, when when we when we look at the investigation which is only the optics but when we look at the investigation it is only six months that that the entire episode has been thoroughly investigated the documentation has come out the the <coughs> 
the red corner notice preparations, the court orders, the ED investigation, the financial document collection, PNB, PNB investigation, and so on and so forth. You know, so we've what we've done is for the optics sake, while you think that the government is going slow, but I don't think that the government is going slow at all. I think what the government is doing is government is unlike its predecessors actually has prepared everything and then taking the step forward you know we are very very confident today in our in our foreign policy we can mount enough no, no, pressure on, it's, on it's most nice. of the countries nice. in the world where Why, well, it's where, very nice you know, to say these things but uh, you know Swapnil Kotari it's, it's very nice to say these things Swapnil Kotari you're an advocate and and, and even you should uh, you will of course uh, be aware and you will have to tell please uh, Vaibhav Agarwal at the moment about why the government uh, is now in a spot because in the case of Nirav Modi some questions were raised on how there may have been some people within the system who let him escape now we don't know and we can't confirm whether Mo Mehul Choksi got any help but we can tell you that the Antiguan Prime Minister who spoke to Republic TV is saying that when he came here he was not an offender India did not get in touch there was no Interpol alert but he now says we will cooperate we have an obligation to cooperate we will respond to the Indian government in court Swapnil uh, um, Niranjan, the uh, situation is a little, uh, uh, you know, sordid and funny in the sense that, uh, you know, Nero, this Mehul Choksi has chosen a country like Antigua, with which apparently India does not have an extradition treaty to the best of my yes. knowledge. So, uh, you know, what happens here is, uh, but, 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 you know, there is a rider to this, that even if there is no extradition treaty, then uh, there is something like a United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime, which is called the Palermo Convention of 2003. And then there is a United Nations Convention Against Corruption of 2003, which is called the Merida Convention. Both these conventions warrant, or what we call as use slogans in international law, which is the, uh, you know, the norms, the peremptory norms of international law mandate. And the Committee of uh, Nations also mandates the fact that he, the uh, 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 Prime Minister of Antigua, say in this particular case, the Prime Minister of Antigua is duty bound by international law, even if there is no extradition treaty to accede to a legitimate request of the Indian government. Now coming to your point, that if the Indian government has not has, uh, has not done its preparatory work or homework to that extent, uh, to that extent it becomes a little difficult, but that yeah. does not mean that we cannot extradite it. But the point is that the Indian government will now have to pull out uh, all stops to ensure that, uh, you know, this man is sent back because they'll have to send the char charge sheet, they'll have to show the entire record of corruption and all the problems that have taken place in this country. And then, Persuade through diplomatic channels and through judicial channels if necessary. I don't think judicial channels will be necessary here, but it's the, uh, uh, you know, the prime ministerial channels, both prime minister to prime minister talk. Only that is going to result in the fact that Mayor Choksi will be extradited. So here, to that extent, yes, the government has been a little lax and a little loose because the red corner notice should have been issued by now.